right, welcome back to Jeff Kernanke Live. The part you love the most, we're on the bench with two young, smart, uh, ambitious, if you will, senators. They're both senators, that's right, officially, even Sakaja. <laughs> Oh, finally. <laughs> finally. Oh. Finally. You, yeah, yeah, finally. Yeah, congratulations, both of you. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. And you both sailed in. Yes. Well done. Yes. Thank good you. job. Even though you're on opposite ends, you're still friends. Yeah. Oh. Which is good. Kabisa, yeah. Which yeah. is good. Yeah. By the way, Twitter handles are at Sen Mutula, at Sakaja Johnson, at Koinanga Jeff, the hashtag JK Live. And of course, we're asking you the question Are Senator Mutula and Senator Sakaja Johnson a reflection of what we call the future of Kenya? Keep tweeting. SMS number 2242. That, that's, that's a question. Yeah. And look at the numbers. 75% say yes. Uh, good. 25% wow. say no. That's what we call a leading question. <laughs> <laughs> Is the one Aaron? Maybe that's how they're reading it. Aaron. Uh, uh, yeah. yes. yeah. All right. Let's start first. The Friday decision, Senator Mutula. Since you're a lawyer, yes. you know this stuff. And is this, uh, for anyone who's not into legalese, explain to us. Uh, what, 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 what did it? Was it a unanimous? Well, it wasn't unanimous. It was four to two. Four to two, yes. Tell us, man. Right? What, what, what came? What went through your mind? Did you expect that? Mm, to be honest, <laughs> it came as a shocker. Yeah. To, to me. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you couldn't tell how how they were going to deal with it. It's not the decision, because it was going to go either way. But it's the way they handled it. Let me say this, and allow me maybe about three minutes to say mm -hmm. so. Uh, it's called a, marang a maraga moment. Since the advent of the new constitution, we, we've not had a moment like this when the constitution reigns supreme. One of the things that um, was supposed to be a game changer in Kenya was the Supreme Court of Kenya. And in 2013, uh, Justice Mutunga lost that moment. Now, I'm, I want to explain that in, I've been in the 1997 election petition which was filed by James Orengo then and Firoz Naoji, mm. election petition number one of 1998. I was a student then. It fell on a technical issue. Come tw 2003, there was no election petition. But then the Chief Justice then, uh, the first, in 1997, the Chief Justice was then Bernard Chunga. Chief Justice uh, 2003 was um, Kisheru. In an attempt to overturn the judgment of uh, Kibaki versus Moi, he set up a bench of uh, uh, seven judges in the Court of Appeal. I was appearing in that matter. Uh, it was the former um, Lamu senator. In that case also, the Chief Justice did not seize the moment. So that moment was lost. 2013, the Chief Justice didn't seize the moment. It was lost. Maraga seized that moment. And therefore, reminds me of the Magna Carta. I don't know whether you've heard of it. Mm -hmm, of course. 2015, yep. uh, 1215 Magna Carta, mm -hmm, Magna Carta. where, where the, the king agreed to be subjected to the law and to allow the citizens their individual rights uh, against even the wishes of the king. So the constitution reigned supreme. The Supreme Court claims its, its, its place in the history of Kenya. And therefore, mm -hmm. uh, Jeff, after 10 years of the advent of the new constitution, somebody Somebody in this country has stood up for that constitution. And that you know, you're, you're waiting to jump in here. Well, not really. I'm, uh, it, it's nice listening to Mutula. <laughs> wax, wax lyrical. <laughs> <laughs> About um, the case. I think, I think it's bittersweet. Yeah. Um, the first thing is, is this is just a beautiful reality of a country in Africa where we have an election, the highest standard of an election mm. on the continent. Mm. Well, we even know who's printing the ballots. Mm. <laughs> in 97, did you? Yeah, no one knew. No. Yeah. 2002, ETC. No. How many are there per polling station? Um, you know, we have technology. Uh, we have an election where now we go in and the, the, there's an the, there's a election management body that's set up in the proper way. Yeah. And after which, people know they can go to court, question, and a decision will be made either way. That, for me, is a win for democracy. Yes. Um, when you go to the actual happenings, you know, I, I, I then have some questions to ask. Mm. You know, uh, because if you look at the content of um, the ruling and the basis on which the decision was made, it might not be the precise basis on which democracy is founded. You know, and, and the questions you ask yourself after, after an election. Because even throughout the petition, I didn't see any question on exact numbers. You know, is there a place where Uhuru Kenyatta got 5,000 and it became 10,000 ETC? That you ask yourself, was the sovereign will of the people discernible 
in this election was it clear you know yeah. but despite looking at that or, or rather um, apart from looking from uh, at that the question is being asked was was did this form have a watermark did this uh, was the procedure followed properly you know and and, and i think even for, for for years to come you know um once we move away from the emotions of this specific election it it it, it gives some interesting jurisprudence but uh despite the fact that the discernible you know the, the will of the people could be discerned and uh, it was clear that yes these are the numbers but the problem is the procedures yeah. then that becomes the threshold mm. but tomorrow then if i'm buying against mutula i i i would not need to try and uh, you know inflate my votes i would not need to try and uh, you know bribe a returning officer to to say he got less than he actually got i'll just tell him just switch the form you know and and and, and this is the form that first of all is not even um, prescribed in the law um it, which form leave uh, you know the, the security features on on, on the forms it's, it's not the constitution leave the constitution it's not in, the, in any statute it's not even in the regulations to just uh note to the suppliers a guideline that then the will of millions of Kenyans can then be overturned because of a supplier guideline mm. that please let have left this form of watermark. Mm. And it'll be so easy to say, okay, yes, don't change my vote, just switch the form. So for me it's bittersweet. I respect the decision of, of the court. And as we believe we've said as much. We respect the decision of the court. Um, we also have the right not to agree with the decision sure. of the court. Sure. And the court has ruled that we go back to the polls within sixty days. Yeah. Um, the body mandated, I said it's October 17th, and I would just hope, you know, that um, leaders from both sides of the divide, um, you know, lower the rhetoric, you know, we are, we're seeing some division coming up, um, so that we can just get over and done with it. Mm. Kenyans will decide whichever way they decide. Of course, you know, I hope how they decide for Uru Kenyatta, <laughs> but whichever way they decide, yeah. let us then move on, because so much then is slowing down in this country. Sure. Yeah. Senator Mutula, NASA immediately called for disbandment, if you will, of IEBC, which is not possible. No. What do you want now? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff before, before I say that, can I respond? Yeah, 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 sure. a, a, a right of reply. The, the, we sat for a long time in winter in the Joint Select Committee, and that's a portion where the people who attempted to interfere with numbers and the people who attempted to interfere with the processes missed the memo that the country had changed. And those same same people missed the ruling of the Court of Appeal before the election, the one that was made in June, about the system. The central focus is the transmission of election results. Okay. That was the, Are you it, saying they rigged? Sorry? Are you saying they rigged? No. The court was very clear. Not even the Supreme Court said the, 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 that. the Supreme Court was very clear yeah. that uh, the, the, the first respond, the third respondent did not interfere, uh, was not yeah, found guilty. Say, say his name. Sorry? <laughs> the third, the third respondent. respondent. <laughs> That's what he was referred to. No, there, was no, there, but, there was nothing of right. Jubilee tried to yeah, 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 but Simply transmission. It, but the court was very clear that the first respondent did not adhere to the tenets of the Constitution in terms of conduct of the election. That's it. The marking scheme is not what the, the third respondent does. The mm. marking scheme in the Constitution is and Article 83 and 86 is the first respondent, the Electoral Commission. That's it. Now, the, in, in, in uh, fi making this finding, they in fact found that there are several people working in the Commission who were responsible for the mess. And therefore, we have a right to say that in terms of the integrity of the process, mm. the person who interfered with that system, because they have been identified, you have Id you are marked for identification, we yes. call it MFI yes. <laughs> in law, yes. that person should not sit again for purposes of the next election. So you are actually calling for a clean-up, a clean-up of the system. Let me explain to mm -hmm. you, Jeff. In the new law, you have regulations. In those regulations, you have an election uh, committee chaired by Chebukati right. as the chairman. Yes. Those people who set up the system, the committee, is the one who knows. And they are working, all of them, under him. So therefore, where, Jeff, you have problems of who did what, who did what, you can only, it's only logical. For, uh, forget about even the demands that are being made. Jeff, I want to tell you that, in fact, under the law, Chebukati does not need NASA or Jubilee to tell him 
that he needs to get rid of officers in his department or officers in various departments in IBC who caused or caused this election. But to be not commissioners. Um, you, 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 I mean, another law. You will not be able to deal with the commissioners Correct. because. Because they're appointed by the president, or oh, they have yeah. to be signed oh, by the president. Yeah. It's, a long, it's a long process, right. and you have, you have 60 days. Correct. So therefore, in terms of the people who were identified, yes. and the reports, the reports that were presented to court have got the names of the people who uh, got into the system, who attempted to change, who logged in, where and when. Mm. Those are the people you need to do. Okay. We need to clean up. Is it, is it, go on. Number one, the report um, does not uh, you know, naturally constitute the judgment. And, and, and which is why we're saying that the Supreme Court needs to expedite to issue the full judgment and to say which systems would need to be improved. And you'd understand, you know, how it would feel for somebody who actually won an election for it to be invalidated, not because people don't know who got what, mm. but because along the way, certain administrative and bureaucratic elements were not followed. And, 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 and another name for those elements might be then, you know, constitutional principles, etc. Um, but the fact is that the will was known. So f even for us, we're saying, look, le we want to win in a way that is clear to the entire world. First, based on our own standard, which is one of the highest standards in the world. Mm. Our, our electoral standards are one of the highest. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. based on that, and secondly, based on then what uh, those guiding principles are. Okay. But nobody, not even the NASA petition, questioned the numbers of the election. And interestingly now, we're going into an election which is almost like a runoff because there are two candidates based on the 2013 ruling and uh, I mean opinion from the Supreme Court. And you're trying to move from you know, a difference of 1.5 million between the, you know, the winner and, uh, and NASA to just one person. The next election will be determined by one vote. Because really if you're splitting anything into two, it'll, it'll just be 50% plus one. So not much might change. But let's ask ourselves, what is this doing to the common person in this country? What is the tone then of the campaign and the narrative that is actually now going out? We've seen it's now taken a serious tribal uh, tone that is not helping this country. It's not helping anybody. Yeah. I'm more concerned with that because October 17th will come and go. Yeah. Kenya will have a president. You know, after that, uh, you know, might, might do another petition or not. But despite all that, life must go on. If you look at the, Jeff, at the losses, Jeff, right now, mm. you know. In the country, yeah. in terms of uh, you know people who rely on a day-to-day -to, -day to earn their living, business, investor confidence, etc. I think I think we need one day in future to have a situation where an election in this country actually brings us together and strengthens us, as opposed to us just fearing division. Mm. And there are many things happening around the city and around the country that I'm glad I've not made it to the news. You know, because they're, they're really sad things, yeah. you know. There's, there's obviously ethnic profiling. I've just been reading on uh, social media yes. that there's ethnic profiling on Kiambu Road and other places. Yes. I, I, I would love that you highlight those issues because th that is not the Kenya we're looking for. But Jeff, I wanted to say... But that not to escalate them. Not to escalate them, but to, to highlight and tell these people that you shouldn't do that. Jeff, this, the elections are so important to this country. And that is why even in, in, in the ruling of the Court of Appeal, they said, in fact, the peace of this country is dependent on how the elections are conducted. I'm surprised, Jeff, that even in the rhetoric going on in the political world, we have failed to understand that one person or two people or even four people in this country, seated somewhere, I don't know, uh, um, under whose guidance or interests would attempt to interfere with anything election. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Obviously, some of them have not read the, the Election Offenses Act. And what is worse, uh, Jeff, and what surprises me, there's a report already in the media suggesting that the officers who have been suspended from IABC have refused to leave. What does that tell you? That you have a problem in the commission. This is the commission, just like the Supreme Court, where everybody is holding with bated breath to complete an exercise which is holding this country uh, uh, together. So it is a serious issue. And Jeff, we must continue telling the chairperson that he must take his seat at the table and ensure that heads must roll mm. and he doesn't need to wait for the Supreme Court to tell him because he is the chairman of that committee that supervises elections in terms of the technology. What about his six-member team that he appointed uh, yesterday? What do you think of that? To it's, oversee the election. It's, it's yet another team. I've seen an objection from uh, from Jubilee 
suggesting that half of those people are, are NASA sympathizers. The, the point is, Jeff, is that this country does not lack an IT person who can manage this system. It doesn't lack a human resources person who can go to IABC. It doesn't lack a, a person who has legal knowledge who can go to IABC. Why are we quarreling about two people or three people? This country is bigger than those guys. Mm. Even if we got rid of all of them mm. and replace them tomorrow, this country is bigger than we must continue telling them that this uh, much ado that Jubilee says, these nine people, mm. this fellow mm. met with Zakat. It's tit for tat. It's tit for tat. No, but I mean, it's but it's the, the difference, the difference uh. Jeff, is that prior to Chebukati and his team joining the commission, there were complaints against all those officers. They are on record, and Sakaja knows. We passed a, a, a report in Parliament which has got their names and their allegations. What he was supposed to do on getting into office was supposed to deal with them. He didn't. Now they have become, they have grown horns. And now, when you tell them to go, they don't want to go. They are complaining in the media that the people we have fired, who it is their responsibility to deal with, have refused to go. Kenyans can evict these people from office. Yes. You know, you know, you know, <laughs> this is the exact same thing that our counterparts in NASA had been talking about. You know, um, they said this person, this person is, a, is, a, is partisan, is aligned to Jubilee, they should not be there. And then now when you see that uh, subsequent to that, uh, Chebukati, from, from, from whatever, you know, whichever whims, decides then to remove specific people based on NASA's complaints, and then Jubilee does a similar complaint on the people he's replaced them with, he refuse, refuses to change them, then there's a problem. Mm. You see, the IBC, and, 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 and I've kept saying this, the IBC must always rise above the political fray. Mm -hmm. It's the referee. Mm -hmm. It must not pander to the whims of the political party that has a bigger press conference or that is louder, you know, mm -hmm. or has more colorful taste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, That's definitely it, 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 not enough. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, as in, they must give that confidence. Mm -hmm. And for us, we're actually really, you know, pissed off with, with them mm -hmm. just to the extent that they maybe out of commission or commission and we've been worried and yeah. you, saw, you saw us very upset yeah. because we felt for a long time that uh, you know that these cartels that have been you know have taken probably na NASA for ransom and uh, getting into the judiciary and IBC ETC we're concerned that if, 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 if all they'll do is just pander to these whims and are afraid of maybe uh, you know protests or afraid of being termed as jubilee sympathizers then we'll do anything that NASA wants then we don't have a, a, a neutral electoral management body it, 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 it does not feel good at all to have invested in a campaign, mm. to have invested in an election, you know, to go out there and, you know, with your heart and soul and mind, and for everyone, even NASA, to know that indeed in this one, you got more votes than us. Yeah. We might not agree on exactly how much, but everybody knows you got more votes. And that decisive will... So who, who, who was counting? Sovereign will of the people. <laughs> there was no dispute in your petition on, on the numbers. At all. Who said? At all. We the, said the that they are... You know, not... You your, know, your, your, your issue was security the, features. The, 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 you know. the figure... So, the figure you have... Yeah. Does not is not matched with anything. No, all of those but things were said in press conferences. No, they were not in the petition. No, 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 no. correct. Uh, the numbers that would have been read out yes. were not in the petition. Right. Let me ask you. So, so, so imagine. Uh, uh, just let me finish yes. that. The fact that the discernible, obvious, uh, visible will of the people mm. is then changed because of that means that despite the fact that Mutula won, and I am sure he won. In fact, he was voting in Nakuru and I voted for him, and I know he'd have done the same in Nairobi, mm -hmm. and he will not say it now because. <laughs> <laughs> Mambo Ma Mingi <laughs> is encumbered. Yeah, yeah. You know, despite the fact that we know he has won, that majority of the people in Makwini voted for you, I will just find four forms that didn't have a watermark and say that yes, the discernible leader of the people was for Mutula, but, but the procedure, mm. the constitutionalism, which is a watermark now, the stamp was wrong. What kind of what, what no, democracy no, is that we're talking about? No, no, that no, is not no, democracy. No, 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 the no, standard, uh, Jeff. Don't allow this gentleman to. No, but it's true. Don't, don't mislead us. No, the standard. Oh. Yes. The standard yeah. is simple, accurate, verifiable, exactly, and transparent. One plus one is two. Mm. The form you send from Boni, the form you send from Water, must, must add up. Must be the form. Yeah that you are supposed to send. Yes. The form cannot change midway. If you are supposed to send the form and you send a figure, you have made a mistake. So we want to say this. But the result is based on the let, let me, let me right. just finish. Let me just finish. That's why I began with the history. 
and I read the book uh, by, by, that he prescribed for me, Why Nations Fail. Did you? I did. Small differences. Are you sure you read it? I did, yes. Chapter 4, actually. Uh -huh. It's about small differences, and it's actually, I wrote it down somewhere. Small differences and critical, they call it critical junctures. Allow me, Jerry, before yeah. he finishes his point. Oh, let, me, let me give you the follow-up of that book. It is the rise and fall of nations. <laughs> this is the rules of change in the post-crisis world by Rashid Sarma, and I'll sign it. Oh, for me. Uh, oh, you see? Super. This, and it's not a bribe. So it's, a, <laughs> it's not a bribe. <laughs> let Please, me say this, Follow this up and understand what institutions mean. Yes. <laughs> I, that's why I, began with, I, I thought that was a novel you were reading. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's, it's a book, yeah. I bought it's, it a, it's, a, it's a follow up. We have a book club. The, I, uh -huh. I, I began with 1997. Somebody challenged the election of President Moy in 1997. Yeah. It was decided on a technical issue that President Moy then was not served personally. We have then moved up to 2013, 2008. We sit down and we ask Kenyans, what are their views? They say, Kenyans go to vote. They vote peacefully, they go home, results are tallied. But the problem is, what, do you, what happens when people count results mm. and when they're supposed to transmit them? So therefore, Jeff, in fact, I want to give you this so that you read okay. this page. It's page 69 of the ruling of the Court of Appeal. Just read, read, read aloud. Loud. The, the highlighted part? Or? Yes, the highlighted part. <coughs> so it says, from our own reading, is yes. that place? Of all the provisions under review, the authorities relied on yes. and bearing in mind the history that we have set out in detail in this judgment, we are convinced that the amendments to the Act were intended to cure the mischief yes. identified by the then former chairperson of the appellant. That was IBC and other stakeholders. Yes. That mischief was the spectacle of all the 290 returning officers from each constituency and 47 county returning officers trooping to Nairobi by whatever means of transport, carrying in hard copy the presidential results mm -hmm. which they had announced at the respective constituency tallying centers. The other fear was that some returning officer would in the process tamper with the announced results. Precisely. So even before we went to the elections in August, the IABC was on notice. The parties were on notice. The Attorney General was on notice as amicus even then. That the system had changed. That is where the IABC fellows, the people who interfered with this system, failed to read this and failed to read the memo. So for Sakaja, I understand, because I've done election petitions, everybody used to say, so what? I got more votes than you. Show that you, even if this anomaly, 10 of them, mm. if these 10 anomalies, even if I agree they were there, how did it affect the result? That has been the jurisprudence prior to 2017. That has changed. And I'm that so is happy. the portion where nobody uh, uh, understood. Okay. I'm so happy that Mudula has acknowledged on National Live TV that you got more votes. I never said that. Yeah, 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 like that. Yeah, yeah, that. What are you smoking? He said, he said, he said, he said, <laughs> Should we play back the tape? He said, he said, he said that. <laughs> Not just saying <laughs> that despite the fact that you possibly or actually that you got more votes, <laughs> It is not about that. It is about the system and the procedure, and that is what has changed. That is what now, Jeff now, right. now, 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 Jeff, let me tell you uh. what that portends for us. The ruling has been done. We can't change that. There's an election on yeah. the 17th of October. Yeah. We can't change if that. If they've agreed, by the way, I don't know whether if they agree or not. Uh, what? election on the on 17th. 17th October. It's 17th. You, I mean, what are you talking about? The election date has been set. It's been gazetted. It's been gazetted. The court gave them 60 days. It's, it's 17th of October. And, 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 and let me not even go into the remarks that were made, you know, that were a, a bit unpalatable. Mm. It would be unfair to do that. We've agreed on that. The philosophical um, question mm. that will remain beyond this election cycle mm -hmm. is what the actual standard and threshold of discerning the sovereign will of the people must be moving forward. It has to be simple, and, 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 accurate, and, and, and verifiable. Okay, it's simple. It's with the same idea, you know, are you going to agree to it, though? And you, when I say you... you it's your umbrella. I mean, yes, it's let, me tell you, umbrella. let me tell you why I'm disappointed about the, the rhetoric in the, in the public domain. Because, Jeff, whether it is Akinyi, <laughs> whether it is Wanjiko, we realize in coming up with this system in the Joint Select Committee that we could not put our faith in those human beings. So, so we you put your faith in, in a computer. A system, a system that will give you an accurate, verifiable, and simple election. 
So what we should, you, should we be asking? Yes. Somebody allegedly went into a system and interfered with it. Somebody allegedly p picked a form. Somebody went and did something wrong. Yeah. What Chebukati and the political players should be asking is, can we possibly correct the anomalies in the system? Mm -hmm. Is it possible to wake up these people who are in France or England? who are, are, are in charge of the server, mm. to wake them up so that as we are counting our ballots, they are all awake? Those are the fundamental questions o nobody is okay, asking. Okay, let me ask you both. If either of you guys, your parties, lose, mm. are we going to see ourselves at the Supreme Court again? Or will you... Is that a rhetorical question? <laughs> <laughs> what are you asking? You know, it doesn't have to be Jeff. It doesn't have to be I'm NASA or both. Jubilee. Remember that. Yeah, it doesn't no, have I'm, to be I'm, NASA I'm or Jubilee. Mm. You, Jeff Koinange, yes. can become a petitioner. That Let right you, is available. I can assure you. After the 17th of October, mm. based on how you know the chips fell, there'll be another petition. Come on. And this can go. <laughs> it can go Senator. into. It can go into perpetuity. But we'll you keep going, we'll keep going, we'll keep going. Keep no, going. there could be, a, the, it is possible there could be a question, like the one raised by Moses Kuria in the last petition, in the last uh, general election. On, on uh, spoiled votes and, spoiled and, votes uh, and uh, whatever, whatever. Yeah. It could be a fundamental constitution. I, I assure question. you. There could be a petition <laughs> of <laughs> that nature. There will be one. But, Jeff. Or if and, uh, and, uh, court may come out and say, I wasn't included. Not at all. Stop this thing. Unlike, unlike Sakaja, I'm looking forward to a 18th of October, a day when we have all the results. 290 constituencies form 34, four, a, 34 a in the system mm -hmm. also, and then also look the, and, and, to, and, heaven. And, to what to heaven yeah come on <laughs> but you, you need to pray i thought you guys pray all the time <laughs> listen we we ha yes, what, what we we <laughs> need to tell kenyans that there is a way forward so that people on 16th or 15th of october yeah. don't leave like some, some guys he knows who get their sofa sets and move to the other side of town. <laughs> and, and other what are you talking about? about? <laughs> <laughs> you know them. It's true. They will leave. But, you know, that is what you, know, you, know, you Jeff, don't want to do. Don't want. That will not yes. happen when you have a coalition that even before August, in, in mid. Um, those are your voters, by the way. In mid July. No, I'm not. Leave, leave my voters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> leave my Nairobi voters. <laughs> the, of They're now. the ones who left the city. I know, I know. And we're actually trying to stop them. That's what um, But it's because of the narrative of fear. But you know, that won't happen for as long as you have, you know, uh, what any side of the divide. Yeah. In mid July, I'm already ready with a petition. All that was missing was the figures. Are you ready this time? You know, line up, line up the dots. And I'm not saying that it was a jubilee. We're not ready with the petition. We're ready to win this election. Before I take a quick break, mm. let me ask you this. Do these guys, you think they want a coalition government? Do they want Nusim Kata? Is that what they're pushing for? I think it's been made abundantly clear that that will not happen. So who, so whether, who, they who wanted it, whether they wanted it or not. The stock. The stock, Senator. I don't think who, it by who? The yeah. stock out there. I, I, I don't even think Kenyans want it. Ah, what did this Nusumkate, two loaves of bread, this water, where did these things come from? Where, where did this state, who made that statement? Mm. You're, you're famous for saying play back the tape. <laughs> play back which tape? Who yeah, asked for Nusumkate of know, what? But you know some of those tapes might just be phone calls and not, <laughs> uh, no, no, <laughs> not no, press no, conferences. No, 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 no. no, no. But, you, but no, Jeff. The, even, even the constitutional I keep, structure I, I, I keep saying will this. not allow you to do it. I keep saying this. And, and, and this is my own thought. It is not a party position. But at some point, when all this is settled, we will need to reimagine our democracy. I don't think that a form of democracy in Africa and in Kenya, where number one, the winner takes it all, mm. and number two, that despite the fact that, yes, we will win, but you'll have five million, four million votes, means that you're not a leader, and that then going forward, you out cannot sit well mm. in, 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 in our geopolitics. Co and, and one form that I told people that they need to think about is something called conscious socialism. Co co what now? <laughs> just Google. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, listeners must Google. Conso socialism. Conso. It, it, it's a form that recognizes the very nature of a nation that is built of many small different nations trying to come together. Because no matter what you do, for, for, for instance, for Ukambani people, mm. no matter what you do for them, for as long as they do not see the leader on the table, they'll feel excluded. Their own, you mean? Yes. They'll, they'll, they'll feel excluded. The, the constitution. And, 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 and yes, we, we have fidelity to our constitution. Mm. But also we must start thinking more that in this country, once you win an election, 
what can we in terms of cohesion what can we think about that then includes everyone else says guys mutula i warn you i am now a president or whatnot but how now now how do we move ahead as a country well at some point we'll think about it sure but, but our question the, now the, the question you should be asking you're asking asking your viewers is what informs the clamor for presidency in kenya what was the mischief in the constitution that was supposed to cure this clamor for presidency? We thought devolution. Num but, oh, number we number two, mm. in the new structure and devolve government, and I posted it, do we need to have a separate presidential mm. election for mother? I election? saw that Those on Twitter today. Yes. I saw that. And also but, one but August 17th might give us that. October it's, a, it's, a, uh, yeah. uh, October. So it's a separate presidential yeah. election. But will it be like that every five years? No, it will not. And, 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 and beyond that, the thing that we feel it's a matter of life and death, if my tribe's mate mm. is running for president and does not get it, I have lost everything. Well, I begin hating my neighbor. Mm. You know? Absolutely. And well, it looks, the, question it looks the same in 22. Knows. It's not rocket science. It looks uh, and, and the unless you change the, the players. Unless you change the player. Oh. But you can't, huh? Oh, oh. What do you mean? But don't hit the player. Hit <laughs> <laughs> the game. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Deal with the game. Yeah. Let's take a break, come back. And also, how about just one seven-year term for president? I like that. How about just that? Yeah, I like that. One seven-year term. Yeah. You can't come back, you go home. Fanya Kazi, Maliza. End on you. End you, next guy. You think, you think African presidents are going to agree to that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we agree to an annulment of an election. Why not? You didn't agree. <laughs> you accepted. You accepted. Oh. <laughs> okay, but they didn't move on. Oh. No, they moved on. <laughs> no, we're moving, we're the question we're, we're asking, Monica, moving. where's our little uh, poll question? Are Johnson, Sakaja, and Mutula Kilonzo what we call a reflection of the future of Kenya? Whoa, the numbers are going up. 77% of you say yes. 23% of you say no, not bad. Maybe these guys should be a ticket in the future sometime. Maybe uh. you too. Oh yeah, I may, I, I might even retire from politics. Ah, oh, please, you're just warming up. Uh, Imagine, it's, it's possible. All right, Mungumbele. <laughs> I can say Mungumbele. Yeah. Keep tweeting <laughs> at Sen Mutula at Sakaja Johnson at Kwenanga Jeff. No. Of course, at Susan TV Kenya. Kenya. The hashtag is JK Live. JK Live takes a break. <laughs> yes, Monica, wanna pick a kalela zanaba? We'll be back in a moment. <laughs> You're watching JKL brought to you by...